Today, on the ESJ Podcast, we enter the fifth dimension when too much Fiore cannabis causes Edwin San Juan and Michael Krasner to switch places. Sort of like Freaky Friday, but on a Tuesday. And if you're wondering about Sean, he's still just Sean. You've now crossed over into the Fiore Zone. <laughs> What the puck, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the ESJ Podcast. I am your host, Edwin San Juan. Superstar comedian, works every day at the V Theater in Planet Hollywood. And as always, I am joined by the beautiful Mike Krasner. <laughs> and the hilarious Sean Reddy. <laughs> So how we doing, everybody? What's going on? Uh, it's another Tuesday. It's another fun episode. What's on your mind, guys? Yeah, I was thinking it was Tuesday, too. Like, yeah, uh, you know, I wasn't doing nothing. But Fiori Cannabis is a flower and hybrid High Times Magazine best. Winner or something like that. That's right. They have award-winning strains. They have it all. Sean, <laughs> what's up with you? <laughs> it's I'm cool, dog. I'm cool. Sean, ready uh, back there. I don't know much about India, uh, but oh, <laughs> it's all right. You know, you are right. <laughs> So yep. if, if you guys have been joining us, you know that um, we um, we perform together regularly and stuff like that. And, you know, <laughs> we got some upcoming shows coming up that are nice. And um, we just want to talk to you today about, you know, just things in comedy, stuff like that. Like, what are your... Like, <laughs> I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. I keep forgetting. I don't even know the name of my own fucking website at this point. Um, you can go to my website, ESJ.com. Um, it's actually on my Instagram. <laughs> I think it's ESJcomedy.com. I'm not for sure. ESJcomedy.com. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Just read that thing back read there. Read below. The bottom, he doesn't right? know. It's right there. EdwinSalonComedy.com. <laughs> Uh, check uh, my socials, uh, esjcomedy.com. Uh, what yeah. the puck, everybody? <laughs> no, you were, you were saying, Krasner? Everything you say is always genius, so I'd love to hear you. Well, I don't know about that, but... No, um, don't be so humble. I do. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're so good at um, hosting, Edwin. <laughs> that I, I couldn't even think of something bad to say about you, you know? And then I always come late. And, you know, sometimes, like, today I came early. I was here, I was here before Sean. That's right. You're actually showing a lot more, uh, like, a go-getter attitude. Yeah, remember what I, we need on this podcast. I swear, I just pulled up five minutes before he, uh, he did, but I was like, you know, tell him I was here waiting an hour. Remember yeah, that? Man. I do. Yeah. I do. You tried to lie, but I wouldn't lie for you. <laughs> Come on, man. It's not a, it's a white lie, and I'm white. Look how white I am. You are very white. You are extremely white. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Sean! Day's your day! Well, well, well. Dude, you probably do <laughs> the best Denzel I've ever heard in my life, and I've worked with a lot of famous people. <laughs> Well, uh, it's really bad, but, you know, when you start, you hear it after a while, it's, it kind of morphs into it, and you, you're like, this is really not that bad. <sighs> uh, my episode has the most ones on our podcast so far. With a, I'm just lucky to my host a podcast with two of the funniest people, not only in Vegas, <sighs> oh, but man. in the galaxy. Especially you, Mike Kreisner. Especially <laughs> you. The fact that you're not famous yet makes me want to quit this podcast. It's just I don't, incredible. I don't know what it is. I'm really that good. I know. I'm, you know, I've been telling people for years, but no one's been listening. Obviously, it's probably because I don't post enough. It's probably change or I don't careers. Like or comment something. back on people's things, or <laughs> I don't engage. Maybe that's what it is. Because I'm talented. Like my left brain and right brain thing. It's like probably what that is. Because 
There's no reason why I shouldn't be successful. That's exactly. You, on the other hand, been here seven years, going to be eight. Like, dude, eight? I mean, I am the epitome, I'm the epitome of success. <laughs> I can sit around all day in my underwear and then just show up at work at eight o'clock, baked out on Fiori's, and life is good again. Dude, my, it's, like, it's like my job is my lunch break. <laughs> Touche. Yes. Oh, shit. So we just come here and we drop knowledge on oh. comedy and stuff. I got my daughter Jordan over here. <laughs> we're just, we're just in my beautiful house that I love so much. How's your shitty one bedroom apartment, Chrysler? How's that working out for you? Wow, unless you showed up to his own show. <laughs> Whoa, look who decided to show up to his own show. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm happy to say that comedy has allowed me to support one studio bedroom apartment. It's good. Uh, uh, I don't want to brag either, but comedy allows me to rent a shitty one bedroom apartment. So uh, <laughs> calm down, Mr. Resident. <laughs> I remember. Things are blowing up, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to start doing some shows for like autistic kids. Any any shows for kids or anything like that? No, but I uh, I emailed a bunch of orphanages my avails. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's it's blowing up. You need a new agent, bro. I don't even have an agent. I, need I just an do agent. all this by myself. Seven years going on eight at the Vato Theater. What's up, Cerritos in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Represent. Oh man, Mamon! <laughs> yeah. Sean, you got any thoughts about this? I'm reactive this episode. <laughs> wow, that was very insightful, Sean. Thank you very much for that. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Hold on, let me check how much time we're at in this podcast. <laughs> it's a common theme in this one. You'll see me looking down randomly. I'm either checking the time or I might have a bet out. I think Meatloaf was just recently, he's not a comedian. But. No. I'm on both knees. I'm doing everything. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry, Seal. I know you're a loyal watcher. I didn't, I didn't mean that. I apologize, Seal. Who's who's gonna like, be the superhero? But instead of Batman, I was born. Can pick up my kid. <laughs> Bought a Fiori's into my bloodstream, and the more I do, oh. didn't even know about that complaint, bro. He's a, he's a step ahead of the game, dog. Judging by that 15 seconds of silence, I think this episode's done. Yes. <laughs> the subtle, subtle I wrap know. up. I show. Was that like a four minute episode? <laughs> Nope, everything is good. Everything is good. Well, pizza should be here soon. <laughs> pizza guy is here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the pizza oh, wait, has wait, arrived. They're, they're, not they're not sponsored. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> His glasses are fogging up. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, so um, if you want to see me, um, I'm working the door at the <laughs> LA Comedy Club <laughs> seven nights a week. Um, sometimes you'll catch me on shows with Edwin if he's nice enough to let me on them. Like, but, um, and the um, you can catch me practicing parallel parking <laughs> because I just got my license <laughs> back, so I just got to brush up on my laws of traffic. Learner's permit. I could drive now because I have a permit, but I have to be with someone that's uh, eighteen or over <laughs> and and has a license. I'm so humbled. <laughs> shame. I feel shame. Just make sure you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, <laughs> and you can see all the action figures I have. <laughs> Don't mistake me for a 13 year old child. (laughs) 
I shall finish the rest of this podcast in shame. I will finish the rest of the episode. <laughs> in shame where I belong. I just want to thank you for being so nice and, um, you know, always, you know, showing up on time. You're never late. And I really appreciate that. And um, uh, Jordan, can you hand me that blanket over there? Uh, yeah, I, I tried to get you a gift. And there's no better oh, gift again. I could think of is wearing my name <laughs> on your chest. So I want you to have this and let you know. I feel such a dick. No, no, no. You <laughs> Why should. did you let me say all that you shit? You should. <laughs> that is an official Edwin San Juan What the Puck t-shirt that I sell after every one of my shows seven days a week at the V Theater. It's got the Vegas logo. It makes nice for a souvenir. <laughs> and some people think, you know, it might be offensive, you know, to what the puck. I also have socially acceptable. So it's a 100% socially acceptable Vegas t-shirt. I don't know if I saw them on my website because I don't even know what my website is. But if I do, <laughs> click the link below. And uh, what do you have to say for yourself? I shall finish the rest of the podcast in shame. Yeah. Can you hand yeah. me that blanket over there, bro? Yeah. I feel like this is the setup. This is how much, bro, like... I think about you and Karate Kid. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, no! You piece of shit. No. I bought this for you. It's a Miyagi, bro. Oh, shit! Blanky. Here, look, for your bitch ass. For your bitch ass complaining. <laughs> think about you. You ever, oh, why did you let me say all that? <laughs> well, I guess we'll just end it awkward then. Thank you <laughs> so much, guys, for another episode of my podcast. I am Edwin San Juan, and all you wannabes can tune in next week and smash that like button. Raw. Jordan, go to your room. <laughs> <laughs>
you always have that plain old cup like that. You know, I have my Spider Man one. So, like, <laughs> you could have Batman. 